We have reached calm. Is everyone here already? Let's check the inn. Let's go, Cloud. Hey, wouldn't happen to know any juicy gossip, would you? Thanks to Mako Energy, life's pretty darn convenient, and we owe it all to Shinra. No way, I guess. No way. Mm. But I hate to think of what life be like without it. Mako Energy's made things a lot more convenient, but on the other hand, animals and plants have declined rapidly. I think the old ways may have been better. What do you think? No way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah! Things were better when we could play with the animals. Thanks to Mako Energy. Did you say you came from Midgar? I used to live there. I hear they have a lot of trouble these days. Did you say I used A suspicious man in a black cloak showed up. He was carrying a mean-looking sword. Suspicious. I'm gonna join Soldier when I grow up. I'll train hard every day from now on. Miles of Buzz is real and immature. Don't worry, I'm not like you just broke! There's talk that the land near the Mako reactors has gone dry. That's why I think it's a good idea to have your energy supplied from the outside. 
like we do in this town. I heard President Shinra was killed, and his son Rufus badly injured. I bet that's news to you, huh? I'm not interested. You're well informed. <laughs> Just between us, I hear they were both attacked by that Avala... Uh, uh... whatever it's called. Thanks to the Shinra Company's Mako energy, our lives are much easier nowadays. Midgar, a float, so-called floating city. Once I'd like to see it with my own eyes. My dad was a miner, but when monsters started appearing at the Mithril Mine, he lost his job. Now all he does is sit around at the bar getting drunk. True that Shinra made those monsters? Yeah. Just a rumor. Yeah. Yeah, well, either way, we can hardly stand up to them if we're relying on their reactors. To peace, all's well. Must be travelers. I know a few things that may come in handy when you're out there. Want me to tell you them? No. Yes. All right then. Let me explain how to use the world map. What would you like to know? Map the keys. You can view the world map by pressing start. The map comes in two sizes. Use them properly, and you'll avoid getting lost all the time. Pressing start again will change the map size or make it disappear entirely. Useful, huh? Anything else you'd like to know? No map indicators. First of all, if you press while on the world map, you can change the camera's point of view. There are two positions to choose from to select the one that you prefer. Next, by pressing OK, or you can rotate the camera left and right. Try different angles. Once you find the one that you're happy with, your journey will be more enjoyable. Anything else you'd like to know? The keys. No, that's enough. You can save anywhere on the world map by accessing the menu. It's a good idea to save frequently. Well then, bon voyage! Items? I've got them all! What can I get you? Welcome to the Materia Store! I'm sorry, our stock is a little low right now. Our supplier had some trouble with Materia Thief on their way here from Junon. If you head that way, be sure to avoid the forest, okay? Welcome to the Weapon Store! We've got weapons of all shapes and sizes.
Barrett and the others are waiting for me at the inn. Hello, sir. Are you Cloud? Your companions are waiting for you upstairs. It's 20 gil a night. Will you be staying? No, yes. not taking too long. Uh, sorry. Looks like I kept you all waiting. That's everyone. So, your story? Sephiroth, Crassus facing the planet. <laughs> Let's hear it. I wanted to be like Sephiroth. So I joined Soldier. After working with him on several missions, we got to know each other. You were friends? I'm not sure. I mean... He was older than me, and didn't really talk about himself. <laughs> we were more like comrades, I guess. We trusted each other. Until... Soldier's main duty after the war was dealing with those who opposed Shinra. It was five years ago. I was 16. Sure is raining hard. Hey, how are you doing? I'll be alright. I guess I've been lucky. I've never had motion sickness. Are you ready? Hey. Settle down. They gave me new materia. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Just like a child. Are you going to brief us on the mission? This time, our orders are far from typical. Good. Why do you say that? I joined soldier so I could be like you. But by the time I made first class, the war was over. If I want to be a hero, I need to be a part of something big. What about you, hero? How do you feel about this mission? I thought you wanted a briefing. Our orders are to investigate a deteriorated Mako reactor, which is behaving abnormally. There's also been an outbreak of brutal monsters in the area. Once we're finished with them, we can identify the problem at the reactor and neutralize it. Brutal monsters? Where? Nibelheim. Uh, Nibelheim? That's where I'm from. Is that so? Hmm. Hometown. Sir! Sir! Some crazy looking creature just jumped out at us! That would be one of our monsters. Sephiroth's strength was unreal. He was far stronger in reality than any of the stories you hear. Even when compared to other soldiers, like you? Yeah. I was mesmerized by the way Sephiroth fought. <laughs> and then we reached Nibelheim.
How does it feel? It's been a while since you were back in your hometown, right? So, how does it feel? I wouldn't know. I don't have a hometown. Um, then where are your parents? My mother's name was Genova. She died giving birth to me. My father... <laughs> What am I saying? Now, move out. Ah, <sighs> lookout is so boring. Just sit tight. It's your job. Want to do the usual? Shall we practice? Practice? Oh, the pose! I guess in Soldier, you're always worrying about your image, aren't you? How did it go? Like this? You've gotten a lot better. I'm glad I'm not in Soldier. You'll get in trouble if you keep wandering around. <sighs> Lookout is so boring. Just sit tight. It's your job. I'll come and check on you once in a while. Just hang in there. It smells of Marco. Yo! Hang on! That's it, ain't it? What's Ephroth said? His mother's name. Genova, I remember. That damn headless freak in the Shinra building. That's right. Hold on, Barrett. Let's hear Cloud's story first. You can ask questions later. Come on, Tifa. Okay, Cloud, carry on. The childhood friends reunite. Tifa really surprised me. The village was deserted. I guess the people had shut themselves in their homes because of the monsters. No. Maybe they were afraid of us. We leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get to sleep early tonight. Since we only need one lookout, the rest of you can take a break. That's right. You may visit your family and friends. <sighs> I'm so nervous. Not me. I'm all fired up. What's wrong? You just never know when a monster might show up. <sighs> I'm so nervous. Not me. I'm all fired up. Don't blow your chance of becoming a hero. I heard the great Sephiroth was coming, so I brought my camera. I want a shot of him with a monster. How about you take one of me? Get back in your house, it's dangerous. How about you take one of me? I make an effort to avoid taking pictures of nobodies. I heard the great Sephiroth, I want a shot of him. Get back in your house, it's dangerous. Fine. Prompus ass, huh? Isn't that you? Are you Cloud? Really? That you? Hello, welcome. Hey, aren't you? Did I go in here? I don't remember. Now you pissing me off! This don't matter! Get the hell on with it! This... is my house. It has nothing to do with the incident five years ago. Hang on. 
I want to hear it. Yeah, me too. It had been a long time, right? Tell us more. You saw your family, yeah? Ah. <sighs> you say family, but... My father... died when I was young. That's why my mom... lived here alone. Yeah. I saw my mom. She... She was so full of energy. Hadn't changed at all. And then, a few days later, she was dead. But when I last saw her, she looked better than ever. Ah. Uh. Yes? Welcome home, Cloud. Hi, Mom. Come, come. Let your mom take a good look at you. Hmm. You look so charming. This is a soldier uniform? Mom, listen, I... My, how you've grown! I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. The city's full of temptation. Your poor mom would feel a lot better if you settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm fine. You know, if you had an older girlfriend, she'd give you some stability. I think a girl like that would be perfect. I'm not interested. Are you eating properly? I'm fine. The company takes care of me. Oh? I know you can't cook. I've been worried sick about you. Hey, Cloud. But you see, Cloud. What do you think, Cloud? Remember. I'll always be there for you. Let's stop this. Cloud, did you go into my house? No, yeah. I thought you might be home. Cloud, did you go into my room too? No, yeah. Cloud, is that true? Uh, just kidding. Don't get mad. <laughs> yup. Cloud, we're talking about something really important here. You're with Shinra? Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, it's you, Cloud. I didn't recognize you.
Chenra? Hengwa. Soldier? Ella? Are you gonna beat the monsters? Beat monsters? Cloud, you've grown up strong. so nervous not me I'm all fine don't blow your chance of becoming a hero who are you I'm Zongen I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. I have 128 students all over the world. In this village, a girl named Tifa is my student. Did you say Tifa? Oh, Tifa is very perceptive. She'll be a powerful fighter. I want you to show me some Shinra techniques. If I see anything useful, I might just incorporate it into the Zangan style. Show me your best moves. So, what can I do for you, Cloud? I'm staying here tonight, right? How's the village doing? Let's see. It's been about one year since the boom in monsters. Other than that, not much has changed. Nothing ever does in the tiny village like this. As you know, when they were building the reactor, that's when the village was at its best. When they were building it. But it's been downhill since they completed it. A few years after, the trees on the mountain withered away. Was the reactor a good idea? Or a bad idea. With hindsight, it's obvious. But what can we do about it now? If we could just be rid of the monsters, at least then, things would be a little more bearable around here. So, what can I do for you, Cloud? Where's Sephiroth? He's upstairs. So, I'm staying here tonight, right? Since you're with the Shinra company, you're more than welcome to. What about your own home? I'm sure you'd be happier there. What are you looking at? This scenery. It feels familiar somehow. We're one bed short. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep. Yeah, might as well. I've hired a guy to take us to the Mako reactor. I'm told that she's young. I hope we can rely on her. Uh, if I knew this was gonna happen, I would have banned hiking.
Late again. I was so nervous, I couldn't get any sleep. I wonder if he'll let me take a picture. Once the guide gets here, we're heading out. Listen to me, Sephiroth. If something happens to her... Calm down. I'll be alright, Dad. I have two strong men from Soldier with me. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet you. Tifa? You're the guide? That's right. It just so happens I'm the number one guide in the village. But it's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Then you can protect her. Very well. Let's go. Um... Mr. Sephiroth, a picture as a memento? Tifa, ask Cloud for me too. give each of you a copy once I get it developed. A Mako reactor was built inside Mount Nebel. The cold mountain air was just as I remembered it. It's a lot tougher. Keep up. Let's just hurry this up. Let's just hurry this. The, the bridge. <laughs> Got you. Cloud. Hang on. <gasps> <laughs> We're all right. Can we make it back? The caves around here are intertwined, a bit like an ant farm, so... Oh, and Mr. Sephiroth, one of your men is missing. It may sound cruel, but we have no time to search for him. We can't go back, so we must go on. Stick close together. this this cave has a strange color doesn't it it must be the mako energy this mountain is especially abundant in it that's why a reactor was built here
it. this? A Mako Spring. It's said to be a miracle of nature. Despite its great beauty? It too will disappear if the reactor continues to suck up the Mako energy. That's materia. When Mako energy is condensed, materias like this one may form. It's very rare to see materia in its natural state. Now that you mention it, why is it that when we equip materia we can also use magic? You're in soldier and didn't know that? The knowledge of the ancients is sealed inside materia. The knowledge to manipulate the power of the land. It connects us to the planet and calls forth magic. Or so they say. Magic. A mysterious power. <laughs> Did I say something funny? A man once told me to never use unscientific terms like mysterious power. He said that it shouldn't even be called magic. I just remembered how angry he was, that's all. Who was it? Hojo of Shino, an inexperienced man who inherited the work of a great scientist. He was a walking mass of complexes. A Mako Spring. So, the knowledge of the ancients resides here. We've made it. That sure was the long way around, though. Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside, too. I want to see. It's off-limits to civilians. This place is full of Shinra's industrial secrets. But... Take care of the young lady. Good care of me then. Genova. What's that? Is it locked? Here's the reason for the malfunction. This is broken. Cloud, close the valve.
I see, Hojo. But you're still no match for Professor Ganst. This system condenses and then freezes Mako energy. At least, it did originally. Now, what happens to Mako energy when it is further condensed? Um... Oh yeah, it can become materia. Right, normally. But Hojo put something in there. Take a look. Look, through the window. What is that? Normal members of Soldier, like you, have been bathed in Mako. You're different from normal people, but still human. However, what about these? They've been exposed to far higher concentrations of Mako than you. So these are the monsters? Yes. And it was Hojo of Shima who produced these monsters. Grotesque life forms created by Mako energy. That's the reality of it. Normal members of Soldier? You mean you're different? Hey! Sephiroth! No. It's not possible. Was I? So I created the same way. Sephiroth. Am I no different to these monsters? You saw them. All of them. They're human. Human? No way! Ever since I was a child, I felt... different from the rest. Special somehow. But... not like this. Am I no different? I didn't understand the words at the time. More than anything, I was shocked that Shinra had been creating monsters. Oh, Shinra! The more I hear it, the more I hate it! Who would have believed that the Mako reactor held a secret like that? Is this the reason for the increase in monsters over the past few years? I think we should listen to Cloud's story more carefully from here on. Isn't that so, Barrett? What are you asking me for? Keep going. Take a break and save progress. Yeah, I guess so. Let's take a breather. Tifa, did you wait outside the whole time? Yeah. We returned to Nibelheim. Sephiroth confined himself to the inn. He wouldn't talk to anyone. And then, he just disappeared. We found him inside the biggest building in Nibelheim. The villagers called it the Shinra Mansion. It had been unoccupied for as long as I could remember. We hadn't even been born the last time it was used. People from Shinra lived there a long time ago.
There is no sign of Mr. Sephiroth, but I know I saw him go into that room. A seemingly dead organism was found in a 2,000-year-old stratum. Professor Gast named the organism Genova. Year 1977. Genova is confirmed an ancient. Between 1977 to 1986, Genova Project authorized and Marker Reactor 1 approved for use. My mother's name is Genova. Genova Proch, is this just a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? I wish to be alone. Thereafter, Sephiroth confined himself to the mansion. He continued to read as if possessed, and not once did the light in the basement go out. Sephiroth seems different. Who's there? <laughs> Loathsome traitor. Traitor? You ignorant traitor. I will explain it to you. This planet originally belonged to the Cetra, a race of nomads. They would travel, unlock the planet, and then move on. At the end of their long, harsh journey, they would find the promised land and supreme happiness. However, some began to dislike traveling. They built dwellings and elected to lead an easier life. They took that which the Cetra and the planet had bestowed upon them, and gave back not one wit in return. Those are your ancestors. Sephiroth. Long ago, disaster struck the planet. Your ancestors fled in all directions. They survived because they hid. The crisis was averted because the Cetra sacrificed themselves. After that, your ancestors continue to spread out and multiply. Now all that's left of the Cetra are these reports. What does this have to do with you? 
don't you see? A 2,000 year old ancient named Genova was found in a layer of ice, which led to the Genova Project. The Genova Project intended to create humans with the abilities of the ancients, that is, the Cetra. I was the one created. C created? Yes, Professor Gast, leader of the Genova Project and genius scientist, created me. How did he? Sephiroth? Out of my way. I'm going to see my mother. Still sane, right? Then come over here and give me a hand. I'll check this house. You take the one over there. It was Sephiroth. Sephiroth did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldier. Mako reactors. Shinra. All of them! I hate them all! Here to see you. Please open the door. How could you do that to my dad? How could you do that to everyone in the village? When 
I'm in a bind. You said you'd come. You promised me. When I'm in a bind, you said you'd come. You promised me. Let's take back the planet. I have a great idea. We'll head to the promised land. Sephiroth. My family. My hometown. How could you? Your superior abilities, knowledge, and magic. You were destined to rule the world. But they, those worthless creatures, are stealing the planet from Mother. But now, I'm here with you, so don't worry. What are you going to do about this grief? My family, my friends, having my hometown taken from me. It's the same as your sorrow! <laughs> my sorrow? What do I have to be sorrowful about? The Chosen One. I have been chosen to rule this world. I was given life in order to take this planet back from imbeciles like you. To reclaim it for the Cetra. What, then, should I be sad about? Sephiroth, I trusted you. You're not the Sephiroth I used to know! Sephiroth! And that's the end of my story. Wait a damn minute! What happened next? I don't remember. What happened to Sephiroth? Considering the sheer strength he possessed, it's unlikely I defeated him. Sephiroth has been declared dead in the public records. I read it in the newspaper. The Shinra Company is in charge of the media, so you can't rely on that. I need to be sure about what happened back then. I went up against Sephiroth and survived. Why didn't he kill me? I'm alive too. What about Genova? A lot of this doesn't fit. It was in the Shinra building, right? Yeah. Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Did someone come and take it? It's not in the Shinra building anymore. Sephiroth? Uh, I don't get none of this. I'm going. Going. Gone. 
I'll leave the thinking to you. Yo, Cloud. Come on, get ready. Be right there. Wait a sec. What are you waiting for? You just gonna stand there and let Sephiroth get to the promised land? I ain't letting Sephiroth or Shinra get there. Otherwise, we're all screwed. That much I do know. Wow, thanks for that. Beautiful. Leave it to me. Oh boy. <laughs> Cloud? How bad was I after Sephiroth sliced me? I thought you were a goner. It was awful. <laughs> I... The Ancients, the Cetra, Genova, Sephiroth and me. Let's go. Barrett's waiting. What a fascinating story. Hey, take this. Changing party members. Access the menu and select PHS. The PHS can only be used on the world map and at save points. The PHS allows us to stay in touch. If anything happens, make sure to use it, yeah? With the PHS, keeping in contact with each other is a breeze. Alright, we're off. It's Tony Gilla night. Will you be staying? No. Hey, hey! Listen to this. Some guy in a black cloak headed east towards the grasslands, carrying this killer sword with him. They look pretty scary. <laughs> mm, you must be travelers. Want me to tell you them? No. Oh, that's a shame. Well, have a nice trip. Thanks to Mako Energy, life's pretty darn convenient. There's talk that the land near the Mako reactors has gone dry. That's why I think it's a good idea to have your energy supplied from the outside, like we do in this town. I heard President Shin. I bet. <laughs>
I'm not interested. These flames shall purify. shall purify. Flames shall consume you.
flames shall purify.
Thinking of crossing the marshes? I'm not interested, yeah. Hmm. Then it'll probably be safer for you to get a chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zalem. Midgar Zalem? It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall! It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then, BAM! It attacks! To avoid that, buy a chocobo at me and Choco Billy's Chocobo Farm. To purchase a chocobo, please talk to my grandson. He's in the chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. Looking for an inn? I'm not interested. Hmm. Then, I guess that's that. Need a chocobo? Hmm. Not right now. Yeah. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks? We don't have any chocobos. The ones outside belong to another customer. You know, if you really want a chocobo, why don't you go catch one in the wild? Wanna know about wild chocobos? Hop in. I'm not interested. Anything else? How do I catch one? Wild chocobos always appear with monsters. And monsters are a problem. You'll need to get rid of them before you can catch a chocobo. What else? Go on. If it wasn't hard enough already, wild chocobos are really cautious. They'll skedaddle at the drop of a hat. But by using greens, you can distract them. And they'll be less likely to run away. Wanna know about wild chocobos? How do- where are they? Did you see any three-clawed prints out there? Whenever you see those, chocobos are definitely nearby. But without chocobo lure, they won't appear. They're very cautious by nature. What else? Chocobo lure? As the name suggests, Chocobo lure is a materia that can bait chocobos. When equipped, wild chocobos will be attracted. Otherwise, they simply won't show up. Want to know about wild chocobos? Hop anything else? Whatever you do, don't rile a chocobo. They're usually quite docile, but tick them off and you'll be sorry. Oh. And remember, a captured chocobo will disappear as quick as a flash, the instant you dismount it. Want to know about wild chocobos? Hey, I'm not interested. Well then, shall we get down to business? If you buy now, I'll sell one chocobo lure for 2,000 gil. So how about it? Don't buy it, buy it. Thanks. It wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either. That reminds me, how soon a chocobo will finish eating depends on the type you feed it.
brother Choco Billy swindled you, didn't he? Well, please try not to be mad at him or my grandpa. It's been like this since mom and dad died. Welcome! Here's a good tip. Little white chocobos love having their necks tickled. But if you tickle them someplace they don't like, they'll flip out. So be careful. By the way, there was another person heading towards the marshes. Without a chocobo, the Midgar Zalem probably got him. It was a man in a black cape. By the way, without a chocobo... Looking for an inn? I'm not interested. Yeah. How about 100 gil a night? I'm okay. Sounds good. Hmm... Um... You don't have enough. Finish it! down. shall purify.
Give it all you got. Come down! Take him down! Finish it!
How to ride a chocobo. Press the cancel button to get off. Chocobos will escape whenever a player dismounts. Did Sephiroth do this? So this is what we're up against? What a horrifying display of power. So this is... Give it all you got! Calling lightning. Come down.
Give it all you got! There's a face I didn't care to see. You know who I am? I'm not interested. A Turk, right? Well then, this won't take long. It's hard to explain what the Turks do exactly. Abducting people? To put it negatively, you could say that. But there's much more to it these days. Sir? I've noticed that you don't like speeches. Please, allow me. Thanks. <clears throat> I'm Elena, the newest member of the Turks. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short-handed. Although I guess that's why I was accepted into the Turks. In any case, our orders are to determine where Sephiroth is going and to make your life difficult every step of the way. Hang on, it's the other way around. You're the ones getting in our way! Elena, you've said more than enough. M Mr. Sung? They don't need to know our business. S sorry, sir. I've already assigned you to another mission. Go. Report back as instructed. Yes, of course. Very well. <clears throat> Rude and I will track Sephiroth. We're heading to Junon's Harbor. Elena, do you have a hearing problem? Go! Fuck! Damn, 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 sorry. Now go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. So yes, sir! Reno sends his warm regards. He's hoping to meet you again, after the wounds heal up. Now that you're best friends, he wants to share his new weapon with you all. Well... Aerith, it's been a while. Now that Sephiroth's reappeared, as far as Shinra's concerned, you're no longer a priority. What are you saying? That I should be grateful to Sephiroth? No. Only that we'll be seeing less of each other from now on. Take care of yourself. Strange, hearing that from you. And I would very much appreciate it if you'd all stay out of Shinra's way.
senses. Give it all you got! Our chance. Shall purify.
Give it all you got! Don't give up now, you guys! Shall consume you. I lost. You spiky headed jerk! Try that again! One more time! I'm not interested. Thinking of running away? Stay and fight! Fight, I say! You'll just get beaten again. Sure. <laughs> just as I thought. But what can you expect with my kind of skills? Good luck to you guys. If you feel up to it, we can go for another round later. Bye. I'm leaving now. I mean it. Wait a second. What is it? You still after something? Ah, so that's it. You need my help because I'm so tough. You want me to go with you, right? Are you joking? Right. <laughs> Thought so. You put me on the spot. Hmm, what should I do? You want me that bad? I guess I can't refuse. Alright, I'll go with you. Okay, let's get going. Uh -huh. Hey! Wait! I haven't even told you my name! I'm Yuki. Pleased to meet ya. <laughs> that went well. Ima kara sore shikanai ne. Ha ha ha! Hey! Wait up! Wait! Thank you. 
quickly. Take him down! Our people have been in armed struggle for a long time. We've taken root here and vowed to keep on fighting. Whether you can spare the time, please, come lend us a hand. We don't want to be unreasonable. If you're busy with something, why don't you tend to that first? I guess we can help. We're looking for Junon. Let's see. You get to Junon by following the coast north of here. Junon lies in the shadow of a cliff, so keep your eyes peeled. Our people have been in awe. We've taken root. Whether you can... We don't want to be unreasonable. If you're busy with something, why don't you tend to that first? I guess we can help. Great! Come on up and we'll brief you. Every day you see people climbing up here. Huh? What's wrong with your eyes? Sorry. Listen, this is about to turn into a battlefield with Shinra. You best go back if you don't want to get involved. Shinra. Shinra! They're here too? Looks like you're also having problems with them. You came here after all. Will you hear what I have to say? I'm not interested. All right. Did you notice anything on the top of this mountain? A reactor. And a condor. <laughs> well spotted. Yes, it's a reactor. And a condor. It seems Shinra can't abide having a condor on top of the reactor. I see no reason why that would be. 
It doesn't make any sense. I bet that's because there's an awesome materia inside the reactor, right? It seems there's some sort of special materia in the reactor. And because there's a condor in the way, Shinra have rushed their army here to deal with it. The army's objective is to eliminate the condor and those living here. The condor is forming an egg. It only lays one every few years. We want to protect them both from Shinra. New life, huh? So, in order to save the egg, we'll have to defend the reactor? I knew that materia was involved. <laughs> Interesting. But the thing is, we don't have the resources to fight Shinra directly. That's why we hired mercenaries to help us. As a sponsor, you can assist us with money or by fighting alongside us. What do you think? Will you join us in our struggle? Hmm. Cloud, you decide what we should do. If things run smoothly, we might even be able to take a sneak peek at the special materia! Hmm. Sorry, yeah, I'll do it. Indeed. We shall lend a hand. Excellent! We scored the materia! You hang in there. Do your best. We will too. Oh, that's right. The store owners will sell you all manner of things now. Feel free to use our beds too. Let's move on, yeah. Ask you about strategy. We're counting on you. Thanks for accepting. The enemy's climbing the mountain. The target, the Mako reactor. To counter them, we set up traps and hire mercenaries. That's about all there is to it. Sadly, the village is broke. We want to fight, but without the funds, we haven't got a prayer. It costs around 400 gil to hire one mercenary. So hiring 20 mercenaries can cost as much as 8,000. To cut a long story short, we need your money to hire mercenaries, buy and set the traps, and to give out orders. 
if you can't spare the time, we sure appreciate the funds instead. The more money we receive, the better equipped we'll be to deal with Shinra. We know we're asking a hell of a lot. We've sent our loved ones to another village and stayed behind to face the fire. Anyway, let's get right to it. If the enemy reaches this shack, you'll have to fend them off yourself in direct combat. Now, if you lose once or twice, it won't be the end of the world. But if you keep on losing, it'll get rough. Do you have any questions? Tell me about how do I win. If you wipe out the enemy, or if you defeat the commanding officer, victory will be yours. If the enemy reaches this shack, you'll have no choice but to fight them yourself. If you lose that battle, we'll probably be killed. Along with the Condor. Do you have any questions? Tell me about the enemy. There are four types of enemies. Be Wyverns. Wyverns are flying units that can move at high speed. Stoners and Tristoners aren't very effective against them. There are four types of enemies. Beasts. Beasts are monster units that move pretty slow. On the other hand, they're quite powerful. There are four types of enemies. Bar Command Barbarians. Barbarians are human units. They attack indirectly, so you've got to be on your toes. There are four types of enemies. Commanders. Commanders are the enemy commanding officers. Taking them out is ideal, but they'll prove formidable foes. There are four types of enemies. Anything else? Do you have any questions? Tell me about the end units for hire. Your mobile units are fighters, attackers, defenders, shooters, repairers, and workers. Your stationary units are stoners, tri-stoners, catapults, and bomb catapults. What do you want to hear about? State mobile units. Which ones? At fighters. Fighters strike a good balance between offense and defense. At the same time, they have no real strengths or weaknesses. Which ones? Attackers. Attackers move quickly and are well suited for the front line. They are strong against beasts, but have trouble with barbarians. Which ones? Defenders. Defenders are powerful, but slow and more suited to defense. They are strong against barbarians, but not wyverns. Which ones? Shooters. Shooters can attack indirectly, but have low endurance. They are strong against wyverns, but weak against beasts. Which ones? Repairers. Repairers can heal allies, but they have very little strength. Which ones? Workers. Workers can set landmines. The mines are powerful, but the workers are weak. Mines explode when they come into contact with an enemy. The explosions will also damage anything in the immediate area. Which ones? Something else. What do you want to hear about? Something else. Stationary units. Which ones? Stoners. Stoners can drop a single boulder. The boulder will damage all enemies in its path. Which ones? Tri-stoners. Tri-stoners can drop three boulders simultaneously. The boulders will damage all enemies in their path. Tri-stoners and bomb catapults can't be deployed yet because they're still in development. Which ones? Catapults. Catapults can throw rocks a great distance. Enemies in the way will be injured. Which ones? Bomb catapults. Bomb catapults can throw bombs a great distance. Enemies in the way will be injured. Dry stoners and bomb catapults can't be deployed yet because they're still in development. Which ones? Something else. What do you want to hear about? Something else. Do you have any questions? Tell me units for high. Explain funding to me. Right now we've got about this much gil. We need about 3,000 gil per battle. How much can you contribute? Thou two, three, five thousand gil. Thanks. We now have this much gil. How much can you contribute? Thousand gil. Two, three, five thousand gil. Thanks. We now have this much gil. How much can you contribute? Thou two, three, five thousand. We're very grateful, but it looks like you don't have a lot of money either. How much can you contribute? Thou two thousand, three thousand. We're very grateful. How much? Thousand, two thousand. We're very grateful. How? 
We're very great. How much? We're very great. How much? Sound two, three, five, nothing. Do you have any questions? Tell me about Unix, and that's enough. Hey, it looks like you got here just as they started their climb. There aren't too many. Can you handle it? Are you ready? Okay, ready. Make a contribution. Let them handle it. Hear instructions. Do you have any questions? Tell you next and that's enough. Are you ready? Okay, ready. Make a contribution. Okay, ready. Hey, don't you think you're a little short? We need more gill. Let's move on. Go. 
Are you ready? Okay, ready. There are 10 enemies this time around. Many of them appear to be beasts, so you may want to deploy more attackers.
My god, they've broken through. It's all up to you now. Looks like we're in the clear. Shinra will be back though, you can bet your life on that. We don't know when they'll send the next wave, so check back every so often. Everything's fine. Shouldn't just quiet for the moment. Do you have any questions? Tell you to explain, that's enough. Finish it!
What's with this place? It's so run down. What? Now this is rare. We almost never have anyone other than Shinra coming through our village. If you see a weapon you like, buy it! Since Shinra built that city up above during the war, <laughs> we haven't been able to catch a single goddamn fish. The sea is so filthy now. <sighs> I'm guessing you want to reach the western continent, but the only way is on a Shinra ship. What is this place? Who are you people? Where did you come from? Did you see a man in a black cloak? Hmm, no. Haven't seen anyone like that. This elevator belongs to the Shinra Company. No snooping around.
Lightning! Bad. You don't think she's dead, do you? Priscilla! It, it's no use, she's not breathing! Ah, I know! Young man, CPR! Mouth to mouth? Do it, Cloud! But... She's a girl, and I'm, uh, well, I can't do it. Don't you know how? C come over here and I'll tell you. Guess I gotta do it. Just take a deep breath, hold it in for as long as you can, then breathe into her. Hurry up! Press switch to start the breathing gauge. Press again to stop it. Priscilla, are you all right? Ever since Shinra built that, we haven't been able to catch us. Please, come inside for a minute. I heard what happened. You've done so much for Priscilla. You all must be tired. If you need to rest, feel free to stay here. Make yourselves at home. Later. Sorry, Club. Priscilla needs to rest a while.
Don't feel tired. Let's get some sleep. Speaking of which, you again. Who are you? You'll know soon enough. But more importantly, five years ago. Five years ago? Uh, uh, Nibelheim? Back then, when you went to Mount Nebel, Tifa was your guide, right? Yeah, that surprised me. But where was she other than that? I don't know. And it was such a great chance for the two of you to see each other again after so long, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So why weren't you able to see each other alone? I don't know. I can't remember clearly. Well, why don't you try asking Tifa? Yeah. Then, wake up! Wake up! Come on, Cloud, wake up! Tifa, when Sephiroth and I went to Nibelheim, where were you? We met, remember? I mean other than that. Well, uh, it was five years ago. I don't remember. But never mind that. There's something going on. Come quick! All we've been hearing about for the last few decades is Shinra. I miss the old days when we'd talk about fish. Ever since Shinra built that city up above during the war, <laughs> we haven't been able to catch a single... There's absolutely nothing here. Used to be a busy port, mind you. This elevator belongs to the Shinra... Does all this commotion have something to do with Shinra? What's that loud music? It's driving me nuts! It's really buzzing up there. Doesn't it seem a little strange? Everything getting so noisy all of a sudden? I heard that girl regained consciousness. Are you okay? Um... Thanks for saving me. took you guys for Shinra. It's cool. Hey, how about I give you something special? Hee <laughs> hee! It's an amulet. Take good care of it, okay? <laughs> What's that music about? Sounds lively. Oh yeah, I heard the rehearsing the reception for the new Shinra president. Rufus, I gotta pay my respects. Grandpa and Grandma? They told me this beach was beautiful when they were small, but after Shinra built that city above, the sun stopped shining here, and the water got polluted. I was raised on that story, and I've hated Shinra so much ever since! Is Rufus thinking about crossing the ocean from here? Does that mean Sephiroth already has? It's a shame you couldn't finish him off, Cloud. We need to get to the districts above. Maybe we could scramble up the support. No. No, there's a high voltage current going underneath that tower. Don't wander near it, it's dangerous. But... You might be able to if Mr. Dolphin helps you. Follow me! An electrified support? I guess this is a job for you, Cloud. Yeah, better leave it to Cloud. We're counting on you. Hey, wait! I think that's a Shinra soldier over there. Aren't you going to follow that girl? 
I don't like this. Me neither. I'm gonna say hello to the new president. Up close and personal. Now ain't that something. I ain't never seen a dolphin jump like that before. Pretty cool, huh? When I blow this whistle, Mr. Dolphin jumps for me. Here, this is a present for you, mister. What am I supposed to do with it? Just go into the water, blow this whistle, and Mr. Dolphin will jump you to the top of the pole. Jump me to the top of the support? See that rock sticking out of top? If you jump just right, you can climb to the top of the town. Go get him, Cloud. We'll be right behind you. Whoa! I'll hold the PHS for you. It'll break if it gets wet. You want to jump up, Mr. Dolphin? Give it a try. The bottom of the support's electrified. Don't go near it. You want to jump up, Mr. Dolphin? Give it a try. Today of all days, it's only the inauguration for the new president. Get changed, you idiot! It's a Shinra uniform. Change. It's been a while. Stop yapping! Get it done! A Shinra uniform. I must have been so proud when I first put this on. I wonder when it was that I started hating wearing this thing. Hey! 
Looking good! You remember the greeting, right? Your face says it all! Oh well, let me show you! Just follow my lead! Captain Rex, we'll help too. I'll demonstrate the motion, sir! And I'll handle the singing, sir. Good shit! Echo, Faz, let's have it! Our first line of business is the march for the inaugural parade. March to the song. I need my silence. Do we me fa so Okay, and here we go. Ready? Go! Rufus, 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 Chimba. One, two, one, we two. Keep in step with the soldier next to you and march Welcome with spirit and pride. Once you're all in step, shoulder your rifle. Shinra, the Shinra to shoulder your President rifle, let's confirm. opening the door. Dawn of the new age. Shinra evermore. Rufus, Rufus, Shinra. Got it? Got it. Not yet. All right, one more time. Keep in step with the soldier next to you and march with spirit and pride. Once you're all in step, shoulder your rifle. To shoulder your rifle, Chris confirmed. Got it? Got it. Sir, Rufus has arrived. Preparations are complete. Showtime! Don't disgrace yourself! Let the parade begin! This can't be right! No one's here! Are we late? Hey, rookie! Captain, this is all your fault for being too damn slow! We can take the shortcut! Right! Good strategy! Get over here! You first! You're really pushing your luck now! Oh, I'll go first, sir. <clears throat> Snake quickly to the back of the line when you see an opening. Now listen up! This parade's being broadcast live around the world on Shinra TV! If you look bad, the whole Junon army will look bad! Keep that in mind while you're out there! Okay, jump in line when I give the signal! Sneak in casually from the rear! Keep in formation, and remember to shoulder your rifle blade! Hold in, confirm! Run! Double time! Oh, that's 
told you to do it. I have no idea. How are the ratings? Oh, this is terrible. Uh, am I fired? What? You really aren't you fired? Send that soldier a bomb or something. Good! We made it! Uh-oh! It's President Rufus! Hey! Line up, shut up! Don't move off that spot! At ease. Now, where is my airship? Unfortunately, the long-range airship is still being prepared. It should be ready in about three more days. <laughs> then we can use one of the Air Force's Guernicas instead. <laughs> Stop that stupid laugh. Things are different from when my father was in charge. We'll take the cargo ship. Yes, sir! I'll make arrangements on the double. What a disaster. Heidegger was really pissed off. The man in the black cloak's been roaming the city, but no one can find him. Man in the black cloak? He showed up about two or three days ago and killed a few soldiers. He disappeared again after that. There's a rumor going around that it was the legendary Sephiroth. Dan Hunt! Dismissed! You again? Think the army's a joker? Huh? I wouldn't know. I'm really not interested. Slacker! No break for you! Come with me! This is the army! Your orders now are to send off President Rufus at the harbor! I'll keep drilling you until it's time! I will assist you as Sir, will I! In line! Show me your best farewell pose! Ready? Do not military send off! Begin! Confirm! Yes, sir! Minion? Yes, sir! So which? Yes, sir. Hands up. Yes, sir. Left turn. Yes, sir. Right turn. Yes, sir. Ready? Confirm. Yes, sir. Menu. Yes, sir! So it? Yes, sir! Get up! Yes, sir! Left turn! Yes, sir! Right turn! Yes, sir! Got it? Same here. Yes, sir. Don't disgrace yourself! Captain! What's today's special pose? Hmm... I haven't decided yet! Alright, Ricky! You decide! Show us your best pose! 
Let's see. I guess my best pose is... That wow. was awesome! Excellent! We'll go with that as our special! Be sure to practice it! Yes, sir! Near the harbor! Do not be late! Ted Hunt! Dismissed! Forget duty, step right up. Welcome! Business has been so slow today. I was starting to worry. Welcome, business is... Welcome! Business has been... I ain't got nothing to say, I'll come back later. Some of those guys all outside, but <laughs> wait a minute, this wig is this bit tight. Hmm. You two, take off the helmet and join us. That's our rule. I'm sorry, we're reserved for today. <laughs> Looks like you're all still wet behind the ears.
Hmm? Oh, I'm not participating in the parade. The road to becoming a first class soldier is paved with obstructions. Goodness me, a soldier. Positive Rufus means sound by the harbor. I'd hurry if I were you. What do you want? The elevator is undergoing maintenance at the moment. It provides access to the submarine dock and the undersea macro reactor. Hi, how's it going? If you're looking for the arbor, you stand that way. Sorry, Mr. Soldier, but you're still on duty. You guys always shirk the boring jobs. Sorry, Mr. Soldier, but you're still on duty. Mind your own business. Now that we're here, the President's security will be flawless. Mind your own business. Now that we're here... You guys always shirk the boring jobs. You sure about this? Napping while on duty? No thanks. Oh! Then come back again sometime. By all means, come in, come in! Welcome! Welcome! Hey, why don't you buy a lot of things, Kinta? Hey! There's lots of stores in Juno, you know. If I didn't do this, I wouldn't be able to compete. What's worrying me is that the girls' wages are higher than what I'm taking in. Please, head over to the counter. 
<laughs> Smiles are on the house. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you very much. No thanks. Oh, then come back again sometime. Oi, you're still on duty. Then again, I'm hardly qualified to grill people. Staying at luxury hotels! Welcome. We messed up the last restart, so there's nothing that you swear, but feel free to look around. Send off! Do it with enthusiasm! Do it like a soldier! Ready! Cancel! Dismiss! Confirm! Menu! Left face! Menu! Left face! Confirm! Cancel! 
Menu! Menu! Cancel! Menu! Left face! Cancel! Cancel! Confirm! Switch! Right face! Confirm! Confirm! Switch! Confirm! Cancel! Confirm! Confirm! Left face! Alright! Now... Special! Very entertaining. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Here's a special bonus for you. A token of the president's goodwill. And don't you forget it. If word gets out that Sephiroth passed through here, Cloud and the others will show up. We'll crush them as soon as we find them! We can't have them interfere. Leave it to me! <laughs> I told you to stop making that silly noise. Yeah! <laughs> Dismissed! That was close. Heidegger was really pissed off. I heard Hojo resigned and hasn't been seen since. And Heidegger's been stuck with the search for him. <laughs> hey! I said dismissed! There's a lot of tidying up to do! Get a move on! We're heading for a new continent over the sea, wearing Shinra uniforms.
Aerith! Hey, Cloud! Did you see that airship in Janet? I heard it was big, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Yeah, it was really something. Do you think I'll ever get to ride on it? Who knows? I'll take you on it someday. It's a Shinra weapon. We should probably destroy it. Yeah, but I really want to ride on it. Even if it's just the months. I sure hope you're pulling your weight like me. Both Heidegger and the new president. This is our big chance for a promotion. Nothing's gonna stop me. I'll show the new president what I'm made of. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Got no pep? Same man's gotta have oh. Something's missing. Missing, man. President Rufus and his men are on the bridge. You'll get thrashed if they see you slacking. Nothing to report, sir! <laughs> it's me, Tifa. Did I surprise you? You know what? I really hate this uniform. Uniforms, soldiers, war. I hate them all. They take away everything important. All the people you love. I hope our fight's over soon. Right, Cloud? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir! I shall continue my watch better than ever! <laughs> okay, sir! It's me, Red Thirteen. I'm a little unsteady. Luckily, humans take things at face value, so I shouldn't get caught. I make a fine human, don't I? Oh man, we're almost at Costa del Sol. When we get there, I'm taking a long vacation. Maybe I'll go down to the beach and get a tan. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Got no same man's got it. I got just the thing. Invincible Alpha, the sea man's super drink. It'll have you up and at it in no time. Only 250 good. I'm fine. I'll take it. Thanks, buddy. You can't sail without it. If you could take just one thing onto a boat, it'd have to be that. Look, Cloud, it's Rufus and Heidegger. They're this close and we can't touch them. Uh -huh. Jackasses. Look at them. 
laughing away because of them babes which Jesse I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna settle this right here, right now. This is an urgent announcement. We have a stowaway on board. Those not on detail to search the ship immediately. Report if and when the intruder is found. I repeat, we have a stowaway on board. Those not on detail are to search the ship immediately. Report if and when the intruder is found. Shit! Did they spot us? No, I don't think it's us. Could it be deeper than the others? This is the last thing we needed. Let's go, Cloud. This is the last thing we... Everyone here. Hey, wait. You don't think that suspicious stowaway is. Sephiroth? Do you think so? The hell am I supposed to know? Let's find out. It's the most logical thing to do. So who's going? I I'm fine, thanks. It's not like I'm interested in Sephiroth. And besides. Ugh. Sephiroth. All right, let's go. Could it really be Sephiroth? I'm going to. Take me with you. Sorry, Nabs. 
something. I'll carve you up! Not Sephiroth. My long sleep is at an end. Time. The time has come. Sephiroth, what is this all about? What are you doing? The time has come. What? What do you mean? Be more...
Give it all you got! Isn't this the thing that was taken from the Shinra building? Jenova. It's Jenova's arm. Ugh. I'm sick enough as it is. Without having to see that! So, it was Sephiroth. The time has come. What does this mean? The time has come. I can't be bothered. I'll try. I'll try. But don't interrupt me while I'm explaining. Sephiroth said he was going off in search of the Promised Land. A place he believed would help him become the ruler of the planet. That was five years ago. Then he reappeared and murdered President Shinra. And just now, we also saw him. He was carrying Genova. He's taking his mother Genova with him to the Promised Land. I guess that's about it. Dark workers, we will be arriving at the Costa del Sol Harbor in five minutes. Commence docking procedure. <sighs> we finally made it. Now we better hide. This land. Does it really exist?
Damn, sure is hot here, but at least I can say goodbye to that tight safety suit. Listen up, make sure to blend in from here on. Got it? Oh, too bad. I liked your uniform. You look so cute in it. What do you mean, cute? <laughs> you did. You know what? You should use that sailor outfit as pajamas. Don't you think so, Cloud? Concentrate on Sephiroth. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it suited you perfectly. You look like a bear wearing a marshmallow. What? Mind your own business. I like my rigging gear. Just don't feel right without it. We'll take a short break, then head off. Don't wander too far. <laughs> Talk about being too big for your boots. I think I'll go for a swim. Yeah, me too! Hmm. Cloud? Something on your mind? That cool facade is cracky. Well, let's go! right? It's okay. I'm used to it. The truth is, before I got the job here, I was one of the best at sneaking aboard ships. Oh man, the sugar manager won't come down, eh? I guess you're on business. Uh, at least you would be if you hadn't forgotten on our party and all day long. Perhaps workaholic deckhands like yourself can't appreciate it. Gazing at an endless sky over a marine blue sea while napping on the wing of a Cessna. Ah, you just can't beat it. Hehe, <laughs> I hear the Shinra brass would be arriving soon. Got nothing to do with us, though, has it?
get bored? Yeah, we fight all the time. Not really. Huh? Well, I do. Back to work for me. Welcome to Costa Del Sol Tourist Information Center. What do you need to know? I'm looking for the shops. You're looking for souvenirs or materia? I recommend Butch's stall. Oh, right. Maybe you're looking for something a little different. In that case, you should try inquiring at the bar. Welcome to Costa Del Sol Tourist Information. What do you need to know? I'm, I'm looking for an inn. Let's see. I recommend the place that's located just outside the center. To be honest, that's the only hotel there is here. Welcome to Costa... What do you need? I'm looking for... Tell me about the sights. Uh, wait there one moment. I'll check the guidebook. Costa del Sol is the gateway to the western continent. One of only a handful of resorts in the whole world. It's been a popular destination for countless generations. Oh, come on. No one gives a crap about that. If you're looking for fun, I'd recommend the beach. Plenty of cute girls there, too. By the way... No, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I can tell just by the look of you. Gold saucer may interest you then. Heading there after a nice relaxing stay at Costa del Sol is something any good tourist should consider doing. You'll have the time of your life, trust me. Gold saucer is way south of here. It's a wondrous theme park and amusement arcade. Traveling there on foot is pretty rough though. You'll have to cross the mountains and valleys. But if you're out on your travels, you should definitely give it a go. You want drink? It's okay. Enjoy. Yeah, snowboarding's where it's at. I'm absolutely sick of surfing. We're all heading over to the Gold Saucer later. We're gonna make a ton of money at the Chocobo races. Then we'll use our winnings to take a trip to the Oscar Lodge for some snowboarding. Oh, come on, I'm begging you. If you don't buy anything from me, I can make ends meet. This place has really grown up. You could walk around here naked and no one would look twice. <laughs> mm. well, 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 too bad. There's nothing left. <sighs> I can't stand hot places. Hey, thanks for dropping by. One, two... Welcome to Bar Del Sol. Here's the tropical nights. Shall we play our hand around here? I should probably just hire some feisty young girl. Take it easy. Not yet. Remember, no compromises.
comfy bed. Mm, so comfortable. Oh, the Adam's here on the house. For free to help yourself. Your childhood friend, travel ladies man. And freaking murderer! Uh, what was your name again? I'm Cloud, and don't you forget it. You first. Who the hell are you? I'm Cloud, and don't you forget it. You first. Who the hell are you? You think you're so high and mighty, don't you? Oh, forget about it. I don't want to talk about it. Let's just let bygones be bygones. I feel sorry for Johnny. He's had a hard time lately. Suffered some real shocks. That's why he's all depressed. Hurry up and beat it, will ya? I'm happy now, so stay out of my new peaceful life. Sailor? What big sailor? What if I was? Can I have a word with you about him? He just busted in here all of a sudden and took over the restroom. He's been preening himself in there ever since. Will you do something about it? If you're checking in, would you at least pick up the bill? Will you be staying? No. Are you sure? Well, maybe next time. About a soft as a memento of your delightful trip, made specially right here in Costa del Sol. Look! <laughs> 
Hmm? That girl in the bikini? Hojo. Is that Hojo? You should go talk to him. I have a bad feeling about this. Goodness. Can I help you? Is that Hojo? I have business with this man. Who do you think you are? Professor Hojo, some scary man says he has business with you. I'm busy. As he says, what a shame. No, wait. I remember you. Ah, yes, yes. Long time no see, Cloud. Hojo, we all need to unwind every so often, do we not? What are you up to? I would have thought that's obvious. I'm getting a ten. Answer me. Hmm, I believe we are both in pursuit of the same thing. You mean Sephiroth? Did you see him? Hmm. What is it? Well, it's only a hypothesis, but... Have you ever had the feeling that something is calling you? Or felt compelled to go to a certain place? The only place I want to be right now is where Sephiroth is. To beat him. To settle the score. I see. Then my hypothesis may well be correct. A soldier. <laughs> Would you like to be my guinea pig? Oh, what is this? You're going to kill me? Stop, Cloud! <laughs> Incidentally, aren't you the ancient girl? I'm Aerith. The least you can do is remember my name. I need to know something, Professor. I know I'm an ancient. My mother told me. Your mother? Oh, you mean Ifalna. How is she? You don't know? She died. Is that so? Professor, is Genova an ancient? Is Sephiroth an ancient? Do we share the same blood? So you're not going to answer me now, are you? You're hiding something. Hmm. Hey! Answer us! It's no use. We're wasting our time. I'll interpret the professor's mumbling for you. They passed over Mount Corral to the west and are continuing onward. Did you get that? I haven't a clue what it means. He never takes off his lab coat, even in this heat. I guess that's the mark of an intellectual. I'd be honored to be Professor Hojo's guinea pig. If you're heading out to Mount Coral, you should probably buy some soft. You know what they say, luck favors the well-prepared and all that. Don't count your chocobos before they've hatched. Be smart like me. Ah! Help! I can't breathe! We 
Will you be staying? No. Yes. Enjoy the sound of the waves, sweet dreams. Good morning. Have a pleasant trip. Did you hear? President Rufus paid us a visit yesterday. He's Shinra's son, all right. When he was younger, we nicknamed him President Brat. He hasn't changed either. He'd fit in nicely with the stuck-up surfers around here. Come on, <laughs> let's get to know each other. You won't believe what I saw yesterday. A man in a black coat emerging from the sea, like he was riding a wave. I think he had a ticket for the gold saucer. No, wait. That can't be right. I must have dreamed it. Ah! Leave me alone! I'm drowning! Oh, Professor. Where could you be? He must have made a discovery or solved something. Hmm. Did he head west before Mount Corral? I wonder. Some creepy old guy was calling to me at the beach. I got scared. Some creepy old guy got So, I'm leaving tomorrow. Better make Tifa a happy woman. Cloud. Shall we play our hand around here? Hey, get back, put one fingerprint, scratch, or dent on this, and I will put one on your head. It's a plane, you moron. Something you never be able to afford. Go act all you like, but do it from as far away as possible. Quite handsome, isn't he? Oh, don't worry, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about President Rufus. He's so charming. Something about that blonde hair and double-breasted suit appeals to me, not to mention he's stinking rich. Damn, I'm soaking wet right down to my underwear. Oh, I bet you're what's left of that group avalanche. Quick, get out of here. Heidegger's in charge of the cargo ship. It'd be hell for all of us if he found you in here. Rufus complimented me on my work here. Wow! I guess the job well done really does pay off. Ah! 
I'm quitting! I mean it! This is the final straw! Heidecker, you son of a bitch! Rufus, you stupid ass! Welcome to Costa Del Sol. What do you need to know? I'm looking for the shops. Tell me about the sites. Uh, wait there. Costa Del Sol is the gateway to the... Oh, if you're looking for fun, by the way. No. Uh, I thought so. But maybe you're still interested in the Gold Saucer. The Gold Saucer is way south of here. It's wondrous theme park and amusement arcade. Traveling there on foot is pretty rough, though. You'll have to cross the mountains and valleys. But if you're out on your travels... Definitely give it a go! I was being friendly, telling him it's dangerous up ahead, but he completely ignored me. Sephiroth. Oh god, what a drag. <sighs> Let's move on.
Presents
get up! Together. That's it. 
This should be it. Maybe if I move this. Leave it alone. Give it a go.
enjoy this. Is back. Wait here. Well, looky here. Never thought I'd see your face again. Those twerps over there with you? Well, I feel sorry for them. Hanging around with a walking death sentence. You got a lot of nerve coming back here. Look at this place. It's all your fault North Corral ended up a garbage heap. Why don't you say something, huh? Or did you forget what you done here already? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hell, you ain't even worth the effort. Let's just ignore this loser. My fault the village was destroyed. We can all thank someone around here for what happened to North Corral. Out of my face! The only way we can make ends meet around here now is by rummaging through junk. If you plan on surviving, you'll be needing some of my weapons. What do you want? Any information? The ropeway station is down that road on the left. It'll take you to the gold saucer. Ah, don't concern us poor folks, though. What do you want? Any information? I need to buy something.
I'll take it, number tattoos are trendy in the cities. That's right, I wouldn't know. Huh. Oh, I saw this big one on the back of this kid's hand. He was heading towards the ropeway. It looked pretty cool in that black cloak he was wearing. Stand? No. Perhaps another time then. Yay! What do you want to play? How am I supposed to make ends meet here? Now that we've lost everything, go oh, to hell with that Marco reactor! Because of them, ugh, my husband got caught up in that accident. He was such a strong man. Because of them, I suppose to not. Out of my face. The only way we can make. Generations. Our fathers, and theirs before them, risked their lives for it. We have no right to just throw it all away so easily. But listen, Dad, no one uses coal nowadays. It's a sign of the times. Right. Everything's Mako now. It's alright, Dai. The Shinra Company will guarantee your livelihood once the Mako reactor is completed. Done. I don't want my wife to live this kind of life anymore. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too, damn it. But I just can't stand by while we abandon our coal mines. Dime, you've got to be reasonable. That's how the Corel Mako reactor got started. Then finished. We all thought it would bring us an easier life, but...
It happened when me and Dad had just left the village. Coral was burned to the ground by Shinra troops. The villagers, our families, everyone, they all perished together. Shinra troops? What the heck for? There was an explosion at the reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on us villagers. Said it was the work of rebels. That's awful. Yeah. But more than Shinra, I can't forgive myself. I never should have gone along with the reactor. Don't blame yourself. We were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why. That's why I get so pissed off at myself. Because I fell for their lies. I lost my wife. I lost Myrna. Hey, if you're going to the Gold Saucer, hurry up and get on. Don't worry, it's free. Let's get on. I was a close friend ever since we were kids. I didn't know. Barrett never said a word. Well, I sure as hell don't feel sorry for Barrett. He never should have trusted Shinra. <laughs> oh, we'd better get on. I guess I'll have to. What a joke. I guess I'll have to. What a joke. I guess I'll have to. Welcome to the Gold Saucer! Are all of you together? A single pass is 3,000 gil. You may also purchase a gold ticket which grants unlimited access for 30,000 gil. Gold ticket. Single pass. I'm sorry, but you don't have enough money. Please buy your ticket over here. Welcome to the Gold Salt. Are all of you together? A single pass is 3,000 gil. Gold ticket, don't pay.
We're moving! This is bad! Oh boy. There's no way we can walk across now. Finish it!
enough of your sorry ass! There's no way we can walk across now. Isn't there a more powerful vehicle? Now's our chance! Saucer. Are all of you together? A single pass is 3,000 gil. You may also purchase a gold ticket which grants unlimited access for 30,000 gil. Gold ticket, single pass. Thank you. Please keep in mind that when you leave the gold saucer, a single pass will become invalid. The fee for many of the attractions here is charged in game points. Just think of GP as money that can only be spent at the gold saucer. GP can be won at the Chocobo races and from games at the Wonder Square. You're limited to 10,000 GP, so keep an eye on your total. Please enjoy yourselves! Let's have fun! I know 
this might not be the best time, but... Come on, Barret! Cheer up! I ain't in no cheery mood, so just leave me alone. Are you sure? That's too bad. Let's go! Barret, is it a good idea to just leave? It's better to just act normal when they're like this. Are you sure? Of course! Hey, Barrett, we're gonna go have some fun. Thank go! Mess around all you like! But we're supposed to be after Sephiroth! Man, at least one of us still remembers that! I made him angry. Nah, don't worry about it. At least he sounded a little more like his usual self. Sephiroth might be around. We better stay on our toes. Don't go together. I wish we could just forget everything and have fun. Don't go together. You'd like to go with me? Don't go together. Don't go together. I wish we could just forget everything and have fun. Don't go together. Go together. Sorry, there's nothing being shown right now. They put on some really strange shows here. Looks like there's nothing on today. But it's definitely worth stopping by from time to time. They put on some really strange shows here. Another passion killer. You, you, you please leave us alone? Hey! We're trying to snog! Feck off! You there, boy. Boy? How are you finding it? Having fun, I hope. Well, uh, of course you're having fun. Good for you, boy. My name's Cloud. Stop calling me boy. Hmm? Me? <laughs> I run the Gold Saucer. The name's Dio. You can call me Uncle Dio. He's not even listening. By the way, boy, ever heard of Black Materia? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Good one, boy. But you shouldn't lie. Besides, you can't fool these eyes. Why do you ask? A short while ago, a kid came in and asked me if I had the Black Materia. I thought you might know who he was, seeing as how you're both the same age and all. Did he happen to wear... a black cloak? Why, yes. Yes, he did. And a tattoo of the number one on the back of his hand, too. Where did he go? <laughs> Not even Uncle Dio knows that. Well then. 
Oh, that's right. Stop by at the battle arena sometime, boy. I think you'll like it. Many of my pieces are on display there as well. <laughs> You need to pay attention before stepping into any of these exits. Why? Well, you can reach all kinds of places with them. That's why. I can just memorize the order they come out in and shoot right before. Yeah, yeah, I'll just do that there. Right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I finally got 5,000 points! Wow, you're so cool! Phew, I finally won something! Would you like to hear the rules of this attraction? This is the shooting coaster. The ride goes zoom, you go bang bang, things go pew pew, and then you destroy them with a big boom. Pretty simple, huh? To shoot, hit this button here. The bar on the left side of your screen is your power meter. When it's full, it'll go bam. When it's empty, it'll just go pish and putter out. So keep an eye on it. The person at the counter will keep a record of your top three scores. Good luck. This attraction costs 10 GP. Looking so down. Say, how about a read your fortune? You could have a bright future, a wonderful future. But uh, don't blame me if tragedy strikes. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? I'm a fortune teller machine. The names. Can you only read the future? Are you kidding me? I can find missing things, missing people, anything! Then, can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth? Okay, here goes! You have considerable luck. Seek favor with those around you and you may be pleasantly surprised with what the summer brings. What the heck is this? Eh, 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 eh. let's uh, have another shot at it. Remember not to leave things behind. Your lucky color is... Blue? Forget it. Wait, wait! Give me another chance! What the? What is it? You will find the one you seek, yet lose what you hold most dear. How can I tell if that's good or bad? I've never read a fortune like that before in my life! Now I'm all on edge! Right then! Shall we be going? What are you talking about? Ah, that fortune was way off from the usual readings. I've got to see where this goes, or I won't be able to relax. So listen, I'm coming with you guys. What do you think, Cloud? I'm coming with you, no matter what you say. Hey! probably told you this is the entrance, but most of the attractions here only take GP. You can't buy game points, though. You can only win them here at Wonder Square, or at the Chocobo races.
You have this much GP. Do you want to ex- This place really burns a hole in your pocket. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk to me right now. Come on. Almost there! Oh, crap! No cigar! Back in all. Build up the shot by holding the fur. Then leave the shoe. Not interested. Try it. Back, build up the shot by holding the confirm. Then release the shoe. Not. I'm not quitting until I beat this thing! Faster! Oh, bam! Bam, bam! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I got a little carried away there. Man, I'm Bush. Oh, you wanna have a go? Uh, well, it's kinda broken now. I always get so addicted to this. Come on, get it! Or better. Not in. Try it. Interested. Try it.
Oh, don't mind me. Go ahead and play. Mold house. Not interested. Try it. Mold house. It's here. Enough. This year. Oh dear, here's where you what? Oh, what's this? It seems Mog has decided to take another shot at it. He's flying! Mog has finally done it! He's become a fine and upstanding young Moogle! Tired but relieved, our little Moogle turns the lights out early and goes to bed. Good night and sweet dreams. Well, well, what do we have here? A female Moogle! Seems to like her! Will Mog be able to fly gracefully in front of her? Help him steal the show with a few Kubo nuts? Oh, what's this? It seems Mog has decided to take another shot at it. He's flying! He's flying right before her very eyes! See, her heart's been stolen by Mog's assertive flying! Sometime later... The happy couple are getting along like a house on fire! Time for a quiet date in the forest! Her name is Mag. She's an incredibly good-natured Moogle!
Best of luck to the both of you, Mog and Mag. May you have lots and lots of healthy Moogles! sharing such a lovely story with me. Action is 3GP. Would you like to write it? No thanks. Yes, please. Would this be your first time writing with us? It would not. Indeed it would. From within the cabin, you'll be able to enjoy the incredible scenery that only the Gold Saucer has to offer. There are, however, a number of fabulous sights that cannot be seen should you remain seated. So it's a good idea to do a look out of the window at times as well. This attraction can only accommodate two passengers. I'll have to ask one of you to remain here. Who do ride with? Please relax and enjoy the beautiful sights of the gold saucer. Fuck. I uh, picked the wrong character. I thought I picked Aerith, but I picked Zed. Fuck.
This attraction costs 10 GP. Thank you. Follow me. scored this many points.
you'll receive a prize if you score more than 3,000 points. So buckle up and do your best! Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Ghost Hotel. <laughs> the reservations. Please step up to the counter. Welcome. <laughs> Sir, please make your reservation at the counter. It's me, the ever-popular face of the Ghost Hotel, Mr. Hangman. Welcome. It's fine, GP, a night. Would you like to stay? No thanks, yeah. Have unpleasant nightmares. Welcome. It's fine, G. No thanks. Welcome. It's fine, GP. Sir, please make your reservation at the Welcome. There's only one thing missing from the gold saucer. A pub with delicious drinks and a great atmosphere. So come join us at the Turtle Lounge. There's only one thing missing from the gold saucer. A pub with delicious drinks and a great atmosphere. So come join us at the Turtle Lounge. select half the chocobos by buying a box of all three tickets. I'm not a, a box. A box is a bet that covers all quinella combinations of three chocobos. For example, with chocobos 1, 3, and 5, you'll be entering 1 and 3, 1 and 5, and 3 and 5 into the race. Then there's the quinella wheel, which is based off of a single chocobo. 
I'm not a Quinella wheel. As the name suggests, with a Quinella wheel, you bet on combinations of a single Chocobo. If you wanted to back Chocobo 1, you would buy 1 and 2, 1 and 3, and 1 and 4. But, no matter how you bet, you win some, you lose some. Trust in your own instincts. I'm sorry, only authorised personnel are allowed in here. Hey, what's with that Chocobo on the odd screen over there? That's where you learn about a Chocobo's condition and strength. You know what your strongest, it's a piece of cake, right? No, it's not that simple. You see, it's more than just a matter of strength. The outcome depends on the jockey and the Chocobo's personality as well. If they're not up to scratch, the Chocobo could run out of stamina before the finish line, among other things. I can only buy tickets for race B and C. I'm not in drag. Chocobos are ranked according to strength. Rank A is the highest, and C is the lowest. If you become a freelance jockey, you'll be able to buy tickets for rank A as well. Of course, the higher the rank, the better the item ticket. Maybe I should become a jockey someday. I'm not in power. If you own a chocobo and have the right connections, then yeah, it's possible. But chocobos are pretty hard to catch, and I don't know the right people. Welcome to the chocobo races! Welcome! Are you here to buy tickets? Explain it to me. The Chocobo Races is held on a virtual course. Natural scenery is projected to provide a lively contest. The aim is to predict which Chocobos will finish first and second, and then purchase the corresponding ticket. If the ticket you purchase is a winner, you will be issued an item ticket listed on the screen. Please exchange any tickets for an item or equivalent in GPF exchange counter. Welcome! Are you sure to buy tickets? Yeah. The registration fee is 200 gil, is that alright? No way, yup. It seems you don't have enough money. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Registration fee is 200 gil, is that alright? No way, yup. Which rank would you like to bet in? B, one bet, C, one bet, 100 gil. B, one bet, 200 gil. Thank you! The next race will be starting soon.
I lost. Yes, I'll have to. What a I guess I'll have to. Dead. What? How? Cloud, where are you going? Did Sephiroth do this? No. They've all been shot. Sephiroth wouldn't use a gun. <coughs> hey! What happened? Uh, a man with a gun on his arm. It can't be! Hold it right there! Stay nice and quiet! Is this your doing? D no! It wasn't us! So you're saying I'm wrong? Hurry, run! It's going to get ugly! D hey! Seize them. That's as far as you go. Wait! Hear me out! Cloud. One more to go. If, uh... Hey you! Listen to our side of it! There's nothing left to say. You'll pay for your crimes below. Do it. If yes, Are you alright? Where are we? A desert prison. 
Corel Prison. A desert prison? Aye. This place is surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you get in, you never get out. But I remember there being some sort of special dispensation. Barrett, did you? Stay back! This is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Whew! You a friend of yours? Sure looks dangerous! Cloud, what should we do? Barrett's not himself! He's been shot too. <laughs> Welcome to Corel Prison. Yup, no, 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 no. If you want to pass through here, you're gonna need the boss's permission. Tell you one thing, rookie. That desert is dangerous, all right. It'll welcome you in with open arms. But it's less than sympathetic when you want to leave. On the other hand, 
It doesn't take kindly to uninvited guests trying to find their way in. Or so they say. It's best just to stay away from the desert entirely. guys over there only tell lies. Only lies. Not one of them will tell you the truth. Just try talking to them. You'll soon get sick of it. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. Man with a gun on his arm. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. You want to meet the boss? Maybe you'll find him. If you keep heading southwest. Maybe you'll find him. Maybe you'll find him. Once you're in the desert, sit still and wait. Sit still and wait. Sit still and wait. There's no way you'll ever see. A mysterious chocobo carriage No way No way No way This place is th this This elevator goes to the top But only those chosen for the chocobo races are allowed <laughs> Chocobo races. Yeah. Go get the boss's permission. Who's the boss? What? You don't even know that? Aw, oh, man. You're new here. Then go pay your respects to Mr. Coates. Never seen your face around here before. Looking to go up? Yeah, up. You don't seem to understand how things work down here. This is the Gold Saucer's garbage dump. Which makes all of you lot the uh, trash. The only way to get back on the outside is to win at the Chocobo races. But it's not like you rookies can expect to take part that easy. Of course, if you got the boss's blessing, it'd be a different story. But you'll never get that. <laughs> Want to enter the choke? Yep, I'm not interested. Thinking of living here forever? Well, let's just see how long you last. Did not tell you to not follow me. J just hold on a sec. We only want to talk. You'll understand if you just hear us out. Hey, 
want none of you involved. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous, I can't let you get involved, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's a little late for that now. We heard what happened and asked to come down here. Come on, Barrett, tell us what's going on. Guys, we heard that the murders at the battle arena were caused by a man with a gun on his arm. Was it you? There's another. Another man with a gun on his arm. It was four years ago. That day, I was on my way back home after visiting the Mako reactor under construction. Barrett, Dine, come quick! The village is under attack! It's Shinra's soldiers! Uh, what? Rusty pieces of crap, and still miss Man, every time. <laughs> Stop playing around and cover me. Watch out! Dang. Don't you dare let go! Do you hear me? You're coming back to the village. Yeah, I'm not letting go. I'm going home to our village. Everybody's waiting. Eleanor, Maldine, they're all waiting for. <laughs> Just keep holding on! No! <laughs> After that, my right arm was next to useless. I thought things through and decided to have it removed so I can get this gun attached. Got a new right arm to get revenge on Shinra who took everything away from me. Back then, the doc told me there was another guy who wanted the same operation, except his was the left arm. Mm. But, doesn't that mean Dime feels the same way you do? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by Shinra too. I'm sure he'll join us in our fight against them. Dunno, but I do know I gotta apologize to Dine. So, let me handle this. Do whatever you want. At least that's what I'd like to say. But I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that I left you to die here. Barrett, it doesn't have to end this way. Yeah, weren't we gonna save the planet? <laughs> Tifa. You ought to know me better than that by now. It might look like I'm doing it for the planet, but all I'm really after is revenge against Shinra. I want to settle the score. It's alright. I'm not that different myself. It's easy to understand. It's who you are, Barrett. So Barrett, I guess it'll be you, me, and... Careful, okay? 
your fortune looks good. Everything should turn out grand. Hmm? Shall I go with you? You guys are weird. None of this is gonna make us any richer whatsoever. Want to enter the choke? Yeah, I'm not interested. Thinking of li those guys over there. Let's try. I'll tell you one thing, rookie. That desert is dangerous, all right. It'll welcome you on the other. It's. He's been shot too. is really in a foul mood today. Or maybe that's him in a good mood. Don, is that you? There's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. 
I knew I'd see you again someday. That you'd had an operation and were alive somewhere. Listen, Dad. I need to... I... hear a voice. No. Huh? It's Eleanor's. I can hear her. She's begging me. Not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I didn't hunt you down. I know I messed up. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Killing folk who ain't even involved. Why? Why? What difference does it make? You think having a reason will fix everything? If the people of Corel could hear all of Shinra's excuses, do you think they'd give a damn? I don't need a reason. All we ever get is bullets and bullshit. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. And that's all. <sighs> You still want to know why. All right. I'll tell you why. Because I want to destroy everything. This place. Everyone in it. The whole damn world. I got nothing left here. Corel, Eleanor, Marlene. Dine. Marlene. Marlene's alive. Huh? That day, I headed back to the village. I figured it was the end of the line and I just needed to accept it. All I wanted to do was spend my last moments with Myrna. That's when I found her. Your, your daughter, Marlene. <clears throat> She's in Midgar. Let's go see her, yeah? So, she's still alive? All right, Barrett. I guess we gotta fight. What? Eleanor is all sad and lonely. I gotta take Marlene to her. Dad! Are you crazy? Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? Stop! Dad! I can't die here! Oh, yeah? Well, my life ended that day! Stop it! I don't want to fight you! Merit! Cloud, well, you see the hell out of it! This is my problem! Never surrender. Ah.
wasn't just an arm I lost back then. I lost something irreplaceable. Where did it all go so wrong? Dan, I don't either, man. Is... is this the only way we can sort things? I told you. I... wanna destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world. Even me. Then what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even... Even if I did go see her, she wouldn't understand. And more than that, Barrett... These hands... They're too stained to hold her again. <laughs> Bear it. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was her mother's. My memento of her. <laughs> I will. So... Marlene's... Already four. Barrett. Don't you ever make her cry. Dine? Dine! Dine! I ain't no different, man. My hands... They're just as stained. You want something? We want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta give the boss his blessing. Then, we need to talk about it. Don can't talk right now. So I got this instead. Oh. We wanna go up. Uh, right, right. Did you... kill Dine? Uh, you must have. Or you'd never be holding that thing. No, oh, Dine's dead. Maybe now this place will get some peace and quiet. And no one will miss the guy, that's for sure. The hell do you know, huh? Right, 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 right. I mean, I don't know nothing, you know, I'm uh, sorry. Will you get us out of here now? Huh? Haven't you forgotten something? I already told you. There's only one way out of here. You gotta win at the Chocobo races. And up there, the gold saucer. Only one racer can go up at a time. See what? Oh, you can badger me all you like. Rules are rules. I cannot change it. If I do, the whole system down here will collapse. I won't let that happen. One of you can go up. After that, it's up to them to sort things out with deal. <coughs> all right. 
Cloud, you go. We'll be waiting down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race. Get us out of here. Yeah, Cloud, you can do it. You, you ready? All you need now is a manager. They'll register you and supply the chocobo. Hi. I heard about your story. Esther. I'll be your manager. Well, I'm okay with that, but... This is Esther. She may look a bit funny, but there's no better manager at the races. How rude. Hmm. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, Cloud. Alright then. Go to the elevator by the pillar. Esther will fill you in on the details. See, so that's what happened. I'll have a word with Dio. You concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, that's right. What I wanted to say earlier was that anyone can be a jockey. This isn't just a race for criminals. Some compete for fame, others for fortune, and then others live for the race itself. And then there are people like you. Oh, yeah. I need to teach you how to ride a chocobo. First, you select to switch between auto and manual. You choose between controlling it yourself or letting it run on its own. It's actually quite hard to make a chocobo do what you want. If you've not bonded with it, it won't listen to a word you say. It can be helped this time, unfortunately. Well, never mind. Most of the chocobos I train are quite mellow, so you should be fine. When you're in control, you switch to speed up and cancel the slow down. But watch out, if you push a chocobo faster than it can handle, it'll lose its stamina in no time. You can guide the chocobo with left and right. To make it sprint, use the whip by press and confirm. Obviously its stamina will run out a lot faster this way. A chocobo with a poor temperament doesn't know its own pace and can wear itself out almost immediately. If you're dealing with a chocobo like that, switch to manual and slow it down. Finally, some advice for the wrestlers. Once first and second place have been decided, you can press start to end the race. A newbie, huh? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. Looking pretty as usual. <laughs> Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of our top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. But if you're with Esther, that means... That's right. He might be the next big jockey. He made it up here in just one day. What? I see. What did you do, Jen? The... Sorry, we're not supposed to inquire about the past here. Anyway, that's very interesting. I have a feeling we'll meet again. Until next time, Club. Okay. I'll go sort out the chocobo. You wait here a moment. Don't get cocky. Those pretty little muscles won't help you in the race. The race will be starting shortly. Will the darkies for the next race please proceed to the paddock?
cloud. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. I prepared this chocobo myself. It should perform quite well. Do you remember how to ride? Yeah, I got it. How was it again? Yeah, I got it. Good luck. a shame. It can be a cruel sport. I'll go find a better chocobo for you. Wait here a moment. Race will be starting shortly. Will the darkies for the next race please proceed to the paddock? Cloud. Thanks for waiting. I registered. I prepared the. Do you remember how to. Yeah, I got. How was it again? Okay. First, you select to switch between auto and manual. You choose between controlling it yourself or letting it run on its own. It's actually quite hard to make a chocobo do what you want. If you've not bonded with it, it won't listen to a word you say. That can't be helped this time, unfortunately. Well, never mind. Most of the chocobos I train are quite mellow, so you should be fine. When you're in control, you switch to speed up and cancel to slow down. But watch out. If you push a chocobo faster than it can handle, it'll lose its stamina in no time. You can guide the chocobo with left and right. To make it sprint, use the whip by pressing OK. Obviously, its stamina will run out a lot faster this way. A chocobo with a poor temperament doesn't know its own pace and can wear itself out almost immediately. If you're dealing with a chocobo like that, switch to manual and slow it down. Finally, some advice for the wrestlers. Once first and second place have been decided, you can press start to end the race. Good luck.
Congratulations. You're a free man. Oh yeah. The manager told me to give you this letter if you want. If you're reading this letter, boy, then you must have won. I know you've earned it. Esther told me about Dime. Now that you've won, I can pardon you and your friends. I also have a little gift for you by way of an apology. I hope you'll find it useful on your journey. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person, but I'm a very, very busy man. Yours sincerely, Uncle Dio. Gift. Hey, Cloud! You're not going to believe this! The manager's assistant just stopped by and dropped off a buggy. Now we can cross over deserts and rivers no problem. We'll be waiting outside. See you soon! Hmm? There's more. P.S. I met Sephiroth the other day. He has a lot of fans your age, or so I've heard. Why don't you go get his autograph? Apparently he's heading for Gongaga, south of the river. Sephiroth. I guess this is goodbye. Listen, if you ever get your own chocobo, please come back and see me. I'll take care of the registration and everything. Hope we'll meet again. to drive the buggy. Press the confirm button to get on. Press the cancel button to get off. Buggies can cross shallow rivers and deserts. You can even enter Costa del Sol and Junon by buggy by hitching a ride on the cargo ship. <laughs>